Aquarius, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for June 28th through July the 4th. And of course, we're starting with your lover bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful, romantic, committed bond. There it is. Hmm, what is going on with the two of you, Aquarius? Hmm. Angels, high vibrations, yes, 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 for Aquarius. We have self-respect and backpack. Get out of, get your compass, adventure is yours. Get out of the city and enjoy the outdoors. I feel like this is a, I feel like there is an element of you wanting to step aside a little bit from your um, love bird, if you will. It feels like a little time apart will bring you together if that makes sense. All right, now let's move on to singles. Singles looking for love. Single, single, singles looking for love. Come on, angels. What are the messages for singles? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Angels, what what is going on? We have the rainbow reviver here and rainbows. Is that okay? All right. Yeah, you know what I mean. All right, so rainbows in our forest, no trees to bait, rainbows stand with love and not hate. I feel like there is going to be some very interesting uh, encounters this week. Some of you may be bringing back a relationship from the past or actually talking to someone that cared about you or you care about them. I feel like someone is starting to look a lot better to you than they did before, okay? All right, now, let's move on to, come on, angels, let's move on to your general message. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Positive energy for lovely, lovely Aquarius. Hmm, moving on to, yes, yes, and yes, Thank you and thank you. High vibrations for lovely, lovely mm -hmm. Aquarians. Wow, though that makes a lot of sense here. Now, let's move on to the dragon's deck. And remember, the dragon's deck is always right side up to get out of the, you know, go ahead, say it, positive, the most positive vibes possible. There we go. Now let's go ahead and top it off with the hummingbird deck. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Hmm. Angels, what is going on? Yes, for lovely, lovely Aquarius for seven little days. That is it. Seven little days. Hmm. Angels, what is what are the energies for Aquarius? Thank you and thank you. Now, we're going to add one from the Buddha deck to get the spiritual message for the week. We have action. It's time to take action. Now, let's tidy up a bit and get right into your message. All right, let's move this out of the camera way. All right, now, major theme for the week is the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Diamonds, growth, ace of clubs, and the seven of spades. So I feel like this week with the queen of pentacles, you are doing your best to, um, I feel like get control, take command of your life, take command of your money, your business, uh, your relationships. This is something new for you. This is something you're, you're trying to create an inner change within you, a shift deep down inside because you want growth here. You want things to grow. You know that old saying, if you want things to change, you got to change yourself. You can't change the situation. You have to change yourself. This is a new way of thinking. And I feel like moving forward, this is a permanent new way of thinking with the seven of spades on the highest vibration. You're not, it's not like you're worried about it. It's not like you're, you're pessimistic about this new change. No, you're like, okay, let's do this. I'm, I'm, you're feeling extremely positive about this command in your life this I gotta do things I, I you want something brand new 
But in order for you to get this brand new, you have to change something inside of you. If you believe you want your relationship to evolve, then you have to change within yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want your, your relationship to money to evolve, yeah, you have to get, yeah. There's something within you, deep, deep, deep down within you. So have faith in this. Have faith. If you don't, if you do it and you don't have the faith, it's kind of, yeah. So do it and believe that you see that things are going to change. Now, when we look at the recent past, we have the four of swords reversed with the six of hearts, mystery, queen of diamonds, and the king of hearts. So in the recent past, you did a lot of work. Yeah, you did. With the six of hearts, this lot of work could have been with a romantic partner. It could have been with a family member, but you definitely did the work. You weren't so sure why you had to do the work kind of agitated you a bit but with the king of hearts I feel like hey, you kept your composure in all that you had to do with this love bond it feels like it for some of you if it was romantic I feel like you were kind of doing all the work and it did agitate you a bit but you did it very smoothly you did it with um a crown on like they didn't even know like you made it look easy let's put it that way nobody even knew that there was a little bit of a struggle there all right now when we look in the middle of the week we have the eight of pentacles reversed with the six of clubs renewal three of spades and the seven of hearts so in the middle of the week i see that the work that you um, have done. I feel like it feels like you're starting anew. It feels like you're starting anew. With the Six of Clubs, you know that this is something, you know inside of yourself that this is something that must be done to bring things back to the way they used to, if that makes sense. It's driving you a little bit crazy, um, but with the Seven of Hearts, I see you like, okay, I have to do this. I, I can't. There is a bit of I feel like there's a bit of control going on in the middle of the week. And I feel like releasing the control is the best situation here. It feels like, you know, you felt like you had done all of the work. And now it feels like you have to start the work all over again. And it has to do with the way you communicate. I, I feel like how you communi communicate is very important. Um, you can go back to the way you used to communicate or karma says you can learn from the past way of communicating and grow from that with the six with the three of spades i feel like i feel like you're a bit divided if you will because the seven of hearts is telling me you're feeling like you can't control the situation, so why even bother? Some of you are feeling, but I feel like the if you are a good steward with your words, the way you speak, okay. Um, this is now you've been in the situation before, so this time around, be more of a, a good steward when it comes to how you speak and how you express yourself. It feels like doing this it's creating a bit of uncertainty it's creating a bit of uncomfort inside of you but at the same time you know that it's the way forward it's the positive way forward and I'm just gonna leave that like that okay now when we look at the end of the week we have the magician card with the ace of diamonds organize jack of diamonds and the queen of hearts so by the end of the week i feel with the magician card you have all the power here you have all the tools that you need to start this new beginning you can get organized in this with the jack of diamonds have a little fun with it with the queen of hearts i feel like emotionally speaking there's more fun than you um you can find the joy in this situation. You can make it um, a happier, like, you know, laugh it off. That's what I feel. Laugh it off. Don't take things so seriously. You don't have to um, respond so quickly. Instead of responding um, 
abruptly, I feel like there is an element of you responding with humor. Use humor in this situation, okay? And that will make things a lot easier. Now, when we look at your bonus, we have the tower card reversed, yes, 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 with the king knight of swords reversed, with the five of spades, patience, nine of hearts, and the four of spades. So this is a new beginning that's coming. And I feel like this is something that you have wanted for a quite some time and yet here it is. I feel like with the knight of swords, you are ready to take on this new change in your life. But be patient, not just with the situation, but be patient with yourself as well. It feels like the nine of hearts, like you are the one that is giving, that you are self-sacrificing in this situation. But it is what is called, it is what is called for at this time with the four of spades to help bring security in your world. So the change that is happening, this is self-imposed. This is something that you have to do to go within now, if this is not you and you're like, I don't have to do that, Dora, then it is the person that is in your world that they will actually, if you are saying something that comes across as maybe not as kind as it could have, they are actually finding the humor in it. They are actually finding the joy. Someone is doing the work here, whether it's you or them, but make no mistake with that six of clubs, it is karmic. Okay. So if you're on your spiritual journey and you know, um, I feel like you both actually could find the joy in this. You by being responsible with your words, them responding by being responsible with their words, finding the joy in it, finding the humor in it, and that by the end of the week, there's more fun to be had you find the truth in the matter that that's really all you had to do was watch the way you speak. Words are very, very powerful. Words can bring joy and words can bring sadness. Remember that through the week. Words are very important. Words can start a war. Words can start peace. Remember how powerful words are this week. Okay, take action. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.